Hello, I'm Paul Pluto. Welcome to the Archie Luxury Channel. I don't fucking do shit for free. Remember, like, subscribe, and tell your fuckhead friends about my channel. Remember, paid reviews are 20 US dollars. I also do consultancy. You can talk to me, the pontiff, for an hour on the phone or Skype for 50 US dollars. I'll answer any questions, marital problems, watch questions, financial problems, you name it, I will fucking attempt to answer it. I also have Patreon. Patreon lets you pay a little bit each month to keep me full time. Otherwise, I gotta get a job! A job, fuckers! So, let's do a paid review. Here we go. Thank you, Arch. I've sent you another $20 to hear what you think of the Jager Le Coultre Master Control Date 40mm version. Is this a good choice for a dress watch? I think it is cool, but since I do not wear it every day, I have to set the date all the time and it's fucking annoying. Keep up the good work. Uh, and uh, this here is a, he wants to, what's his name? He's, I think he's a Russian, he's got a, he's got a, he's got a weird name. Oivind! 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 Oivind, we'll just call him Oivind. Uh, do not, but if you do, don't make him, oh, don't use his name. We'll just call him, fuck me, dead. Who cares what his fucking name is? I can't pronounce the fucking thing anyhow if I wanted to. Okay. Jager Le Coultre, Master Control, date 40 mil. What do I think? Absolutely stunning. Jager Le Coultre makes some really fucking sexy stuff. They really know how to make Cool stuff, really cool. And, you know, in my opinion there, it doesn't get much better than Jager Le Coultre. Doesn't get much better at all. And I I really think myself there, I, I would myself, I'd be fucking wearing that watch every fucking week. I would make, you know... They have casual Fridays. I would wear a fucking watch. Wear it once a week. You gotta enjoy these things. And I gotta tell you, it's an interesting thing. You you say there that the date version. I have to set the date all the time. It's fucking annoying. Yes, yes, yes. So let me say this to you. Partly the reason I fucked up my Audemars Piguet Royal Oak was because I am so anal. I am so anal. I can't have the fucking thing on the wrong date. It fucking shits me off. So what did I do? I used to always change the date and eventually the mechanism got fucked. My honest advice to you is don't set the date all the time because it's if you're going to wear it for a week, sure, set the fucking thing. But every time you set it, it actually puts a lot of pressure on the gears and cogs. So, so try not to do it or get a fucking watch winder. Get a fucking watch winder. That's the other option. But I, I know where you're coming from because I've fucking been there. I got the t-shirt and it, <clears throat> it fucking sucks, okay? It really fucking sucks. The other thing is, the other thing I, I, I would say to you is, is um, don't be so anal about it, okay? Because you're going to end up fucking the thing up. These delicate watches like Patek, Jager Le Coultre, uh, Vacheron, Audemars Piguet, they're fucking delicate, so... Continually making the date right is not a good thing. Rolex is different. They got steel cogs. They don't have fine gold cogs. They got steel cogs in there. The cunts just work. So Rolex is a little bit more forgiving. So my advice to you, my advice to you, what do I think of the Jager Le Coultre Master Control Date 40 mil? <clears throat> Fucking sexy. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Reverso is also cool. I take it you got the steel one, I think. Most people tend to have the steel one. But I, I reckon that is so cool. Remember this. A dress watch. Every watch you wear, whether it's an Explorer 2 or a Subby, it's really a dress watch because these young fucks, they use their iPhone. They have that Apple bullshit watch. You know, a real man's watch. A man's watch, you know. Hey, I fuck women. I fuck women! I like pussy! Man's watch. I, I would say, look, look, the Jager Le Coultre Master Control, it's one of my favourites, you know. I came this close to buying a Master Control calendar. I've got my Reverso, I've got the Jager Le Coultre Reverso Grand Date. 
Love it. I came this close. If I had the money, I would have bought the fucking thing. Brisbane Vintage Watches had it. And uh, it was a calendar. Fuck, was it cool. Man, it's just so cool. It's so cool. It was so cool. And... That's six and a half thousand. I think I, this is a couple going back a couple of years ago. That's Aussie dollars, and I thought, fuck, that's good value. Really, really good value. Um, everyone needs a dress watch, man. That's a cool watch. Don't sell it. Don't sell it. The forty mils a good size. Fucking enjoy it, man. Fucking enjoy it. It's a cool watch. It's beautiful. Sit back, enjoy it, man. That is. You know, the thing with Jager La Culture is some of the old vintage Jager La Cultures, they were a little bit dodgy. Okay, I'm being honest with you. They were a little bit dodgy. Jager La Culture did gold plating. Okay, Rolex did gold plating too. Okay, so it's IWC did gold plating. Jager La Culture did too. Jager La Cultures in the past weren't as posh as they are now. So modern Jager La Culture, beautiful. Enjoy it. Keep it. Enjoy it. Don't worry about the date being wrong. Just wire the fucking thing. Or get a winder. But I know what you mean. That's why I love no date watches. Because you don't be fucked setting the cunts all the time. But no, don't sell it. Keep it. I can see where this is leading. Don't, don't sell it. Keep it. Enjoy it. Life is for living. When we're dead, we're dead a long time. Enjoy it. Wear it. I'm Archie Luxury. This has been a paid review. Tell me what you fuckers think of the Jager La Cultura Master Control Date 40 mil. See you later! We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece. We adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000. It's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.